Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to talk about the difference between the stats and event stats command. And uh, in the end, we are also going to see the usage of these commands with some examples. So first, let's understand uh, what these commands are. So if you look at these stats and event stat, uh, both are very commonly used commands in the Splunk. And uh, these uh, both commands use uh, like, uh, aggregate statistic functions like average sum, uh, count, distinct count, standard deviations, etc. And also the syntax is very much similar, uh, where by clause is optional in the both cases. So uh, we can use uh, with or without by clause for scoping your uh, data or result. So uh, you can see on the screen that uh, it it has exactly similar syntax what event stat and stat uh, has is. So uh, uh, what what is the difference then? So just to understand the difference between these two commands, let's go through this table. So uh, the first uh, when we see at the stat, uh, we see it as a transforming command and another is a data set processing command. So when we see the transform, uh, when we see or when we call stats as a transforming command, so it means the events are transformed. And in the second case, events are not transformed. So what it exactly means. So when we say like this, then stat commands uh, actually transforms your result uh, into some aggregate statistics and show uh, show you into as a result of this command uh, into the table tabular format. Uh, and it will not uh, it will not retain you the original fields in your data. So uh, uh, suppose you want to access the original fields from your uh, events, so you will not get the values of that phase when we use the stat command. And I think this is the point where event stats become very useful command, uh, where you can see uh, the original fields uh, as is uh, in your uh, events, and also uh, it will it will show you the result in line uh, along with uh, each event. For example, when we run this event stat commands, you will see the statistic result against that event, particular event only. So it will the result will appear for each and every event uh, which, uh, which are relevant uh, with this uh, uh, calculations. So that is not possible uh, with the stats command. And I think uh, it will be more clear when we see some examples. So let's go to the demo. So uh, let's understand uh, usage of stats and event stat with some simple example. So here, if you see on the screen, uh, uh, we have just collected the data in the tabular format uh, uh, for the status and method. And uh, I, I want to uh, write a stats command to sum up the value of a status and uh, want to segregate it by the method. So here, what I have done, uh, I have just renamed this sum of status with the string sum of status and uh, grouping it by the method. So let's see how it uh, returns the result. So you will you will you will see that uh, it has grouped the results by method uh, delete gate and post, and uh, against each of these method, you will see the sum of uh, uh, values of uh, the status field, which uh, uh, which was the original field. Okay and uh, uh, as also we discussed that uh, when we use the stat it transforms the event so that the original fields will not uh, uh, return the value uh, so let's let's check whether is it true so i'll create the table uh, with this status uh, uh, which was the original field in our data and some of status which is just transformed event transformed result and the method so uh, it sh uh, the status should not uh, show any value as per the stats command description. So yes, if you see the original field status, it is not showing any value inside it. Okay. So let's check with the, the similar case with the uh, event stat. So we'll have a very similar kind of uh, string. Uh, we'll just change the uh, stats to event stats. Uh, here also we'll do the sum of status by a method yes so if you see uh, the original field is there the method is also there and you are seeing the new field uh, which is the calculated field uh, I think this is similar uh, uh, with the stat command but the difference is that the status value of a status is has not changed so uh, still we can access the original status uh, uh, field uh, from our uh, event data. 
so i think this is the major difference uh, which we can see another difference we can notice is that uh, for the method uh, i just solved it by the method so if you see the value of a gate the sum of uh, values for the status for the gate is 1815 and it is a similar for every event of a gate if you see it okay the same for the post 801 is the value for each and every event and this is a very uh, a crucial difference between the stat and event stat the result are written uh, in line for each event in the event stat whereas in the stat you will see the combined result for that particular event i hope this is clear to you uh, just for simplicity i'll i'll uh, try to uh, uh, present it in the same uh, similar window if you see this this is the result we are getting okay so if you found this video useful please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching